So, hey guys, what did we talk about the other day? Don't be relying on a red wave. Don't be relying on anything to save you. No one's coming to help us. We're going to have to save ourselves. So, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. I hope you're doing well this evening. We need to get this video up and rolling. I know you're waiting on, to, on this video to hear what I have to say about yesterday and today and I have thought really long and hard on what I want to say on this video. I think we're all to the point where we are coming to the realization like I said in the intro. Folks, no one is coming to save us. There's not a politician on the planet that can do for you or that anyone can do for me what needs to be done. We are going to have to take care of ourselves. I know this is not the message that a lot of people do not want to hear today. I think they are watching and seeing and understanding that the veil is being ripped off of everything and that they are absolutely seeing uh, what I just said is absolutely true. There's a lot of devastated and disappointed people uh, with how the election has turned out. There's a lot of questions as to why the election is turning out the way that it is. You know, but at the end of the day, right now, does that really matter if you basically don't have your beanie weenies packed away on the shelf? And that's what, what the message here is going to come back to. We can debate all day long our beliefs. We can debate all day long, you know, the lives of politicians. We can debate what's happening in our country. We can... Um, debate corruption. We can talk about a lot of things, but at the end of the day, the question that I always bring myself back to and I hope to bring you back to is, what are you doing about it? What can you do about it? And what are you doing about it? I encouraged everybody to go vote yesterday. Absolutely need to show up and vote. I'm not going to discourage that, but you have to keep a level head in terms of the times that we're living in and the things that we have seen. And like I've said before, we are so far into it and have been for such a long time that this is all boiling down to you understanding your level of self-reliance, your capabilities, and the willingness that you are uh, putting forth in terms of protecting yourself, protecting your family, doing your due diligence. This is not the time to be divided. I'm going to be completely honest with you, uh, which may give you a little bit of insight of really where I am in terms of what I think about things. Um, guys, I have seen a lot of different themes floating around today about how divided the country is, how divided we are. Um, I think we are as divided as you're allowing yourself to be told. Not, I'm not saying we don't have differences. I don't, I'm not saying that we don't have problems in terms of politics and whatnot. No, I, I'm the first one to go there. But I'm sorry. I am not to the point of biting on to the narrative that we are completely divided. I'm not delusional. You see... We can't be conquered. Nothing can be conquered until it is divided. We also know that typically things divide better if they are divided from within. But in order for you to really bite off on that narrative, you have to be told that over and over and over again. And I am just not biting on it completely. I believe that we need to be doing our best to understand the difference between what the average tax-paying American believes and thinks. And if you're told enough on a daily basis that you're this, you're that, you're this, you're that, people that don't do their homework, people that are not free thinkers, people that don't do their due diligence, well, they're just gonna take whatever's dished out to them. I'm not doing that yet. I'm not. I think there's a lot of things right now at play. And I think the only way out of this is number one, praying 
and getting ourselves centered back to where we need to be with God. You're not going to change my mind on that. But I'm going to say something really strong here. You better be preparing like hell. I think the problem and the stress that everybody is freaking out about today is, are you really surprised how things are turning out? I mean, really? Did you go through 2020? I think you did. So I don't think what the, the what we're seeing today, yesterday into today, uh, especially when you're told a week ago, you know, oh, it might take you 14,000 days and 23 nights to figure out what the results are. Did that ring, did that bell resonate with you? No. I mean, do you really think that people really want to put candidates into office that truly, uh, I mean, I feel like some of these candidates are, I feel like we're like a part two of Goonies, okay? You know, hey, you guys. I mean, does that not, does, I mean, I, I, it's just unbelievable, right? So all of these questions are into play, okay? But what can you do about it today? What can you do? The stronger we are as a people, and that means even down to the individual basis, the, the more united we will be because we will be a strong front together. That's what we're supposed to be. We're not supposed to agree on everything. We're not supposed to all look alike and believe in all the same things. No, we're not supposed to, but we are supposed to be a united front and to expect an honest election and expect true leadership. And when those things are falling to the wayside, we're going to have to pull back and to rely on ourselves. I think the shakeup from yesterday to today that I'm seeing is that people are actually stunned that we actually made it through an election. Will we make it to the next one? But not only that, but it just didn't go the way that they thought. And I'm, I'm not really sure the problem is, is about, you know, is the problem really, truly, honestly about the, the, the election itself. But like I said, it is pulling away the curtain to make you have to self-reflect and go, holy crap, I can't rely on anything right now. The only thing that I can rely on is myself, my spouse, my family, my close community, this is really a big deal. Folks, things aren't going to get any easier. Uh, we've known that, and, and I didn't believe that it would, even if it, even if the, the, the biggest red wave came through and sloshed everything out. I made a video just, what, two or three days, two or three days ago talking about this, that the red wave wasn't going to save you. Red wave isn't going to save me. Um, can things help? Can good, polit can, can good politicians, <laughs> meaning good leadership or good policies, if and when they exist, can they help and make change? Yes, that's why I tell you to vote. But for you to put all of your faith into man like that is a, is a mistake. Your faith needs to be only as far as, number one, your faith in God, your relationship with the Lord, and what you're willing to put into it. What skin are you willing to put into the game? So no, I haven't made a, a lot of videos over the past couple of days because I told you I've been having a very restless spirit and um, I had a very restless spirit last night. I, I didn't even watch, I went to bed. And this morning, before I even turned on the news, I had a very restless spirit. And folks, what it boils down to is what are you willing to do for yourself, your family, your children, your grandbabies. We're on a rough road right now. I don't see it getting any better. I have no way of predicting what's coming. I have no way to know, but we can certainly come up with a lot of potentials. And unfortunately, we can come up with one. If this happens, then surely that's going to happen. I don't know. Maybe the next year or two will float by. We'll all be happy as little larks eating filet, min filet mignon, laying on the beach and having fun. Hey, I've told you for a, for a long time, if and when any of this happens, that's great. You bring the crow. I'll fry it up and eat it right in front of you because I have no shame in that. Because listen, I want, I want this land of unicorns and pegasus. I just know it's not there right now. 
And I know that we're gonna have to work hard individually in order to make it. And I want you to make it. I want you to be safe. I don't care who you are, where you are, <clears throat> what you believe. I, I'm not even concerned about who you voted for. <laughs> because see, it's not about the voter. It's about the counter. You know, and that goes into play for all of us. I just cannot believe that Americans would put themselves into positions to make things worse. I have a hard time completely biting on that. I've talked to a lot of people today. I've seen a lot of comments from people all over the United States, even in Canada. Folks from Scotland are contacting me, making comments and saying all kinds of things and people are blown away. There is this unbelievable divine faith in our people and in our country. Even from around the world, they are depending on us. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's a compliment. They look to us. They depend on us. Even though we broke away from them, they now depend upon us. The folks in Europe and the people in the UK. There is an admiration for the American spirit. I'm not giving up on anything. But I know it starts with me. And I know it starts with faith in my family and in my self-reliance in my community and God. And I'm going to tell you again. And I'm going to keep saying it because I believe this is what I'm supposed to say. And I've talked to a lot of people today. And they shake their head and they agree. These are people that I have full faith in. And that I know have full faith in all that we need to be doing. And they agree. You better be preparing like hell. No one is coming to save us. We have to save ourselves. Whatever that means, whenever it happens, I don't know. But I think it's clear. It's crystal clear now. So take a deep breath. Step back. Be open-minded in understanding there's a lot at play right now, including your mind, your soul, your spirit. Guys, don't stop prepping. Whatever that means for you, whatever that means for you, and don't be looking at it as a short-term goal. I'm talking about years out. So everything that you're doing, make it count. Pay off your debts, get with your family, put away food, put away socks, make your home secure, understand what you need to be doing for resources in terms of your own personal heat, energy, etc. And be paying very close attention. And if you need to break away from the world to continue to work and to make yourself more self-reliant, then you better do so because we're the ones that everybody's looking to. I can assure you that. Stay the course. A lot of videos coming your way. A lot of homesteading videos coming your way. Cooking videos coming your way. We're still going to have our silly times together. But folks, it's beyond game on. And it's a whole lot of prayer that needs to happen. Don't stop. Like, subscribe, and share. Hit that bell notification. We're in this together. Like it or leave it, it's still the truth. We'll see you on the next video.